वेलकम टू जस्ट लर्न सिविल दिस इज द सेकेंड ट्यूटोरियल इन हाइड्रोलिक हाइड्रोलिक डायमीटर एंड जियोमेट्रिक डायमीटर लेट्स इज द डिफिनेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक डायमीटर फॉर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड जियोमेट्रीज लाइक ट्रेपेजोइड एंड इरेगुलर सेप हाइड्रिक डायमीटर इज यूज एज used and is given by four times the hydraulic radius hydraulic radius is a by p we already know from this previous tutorial now what is the use of hydraulic diameter hydraulic diameter converts any cross section it can be rectangle trapezoid any cross section into circular cross section hydraulically more or less hydraulic diameter versus geometric diameter hydraulic diameter is different from geometric diameter we know geometric diameter is two times the radius geometric radius but hydraulic diameter is four times the hydraulic radius this is the hydraulic radius hydraulic diameter of circle for full flowing circular section this is the circular section and full flowing circular section diameter d fortunately diameter and hydraulic diameter are same this diameter means geometric diameter R is equals to we know R is hydraulic radius R is equals to a by p area is pi d square by four and perimeter is pi d after cancelling the terms we will get pi we will get only d by four and hydraulic diameter is equals to four times the hydraulic radius so if we multiply this by four you will get only d so here we saw that hydraulic diameter and geometric diameter both are same for full flowing circle. This happens in case of a square as well. For full flowing square, we get hydraulic radius as a by 4. R is equals to a by p. Area is a into a and perimeter is 4 into a. This is the side a and each side is a. We will get a by 4. Now when you multiply this by 4, you will get the hydraulic diameter which is a. And this is the side of the square. So here also you will get the hydraulic diameter and the side the same. Now hydraulic diameter and hydraulic radius of different shapes of closed and open channel. This works in closed as well as open channel. Now we will see how this hydraulic diameter is used to convert any shape into circular shape. For example, we will see first rectangular closed channel. This is a rectangular this is a rectangular closed channel this is full flowing rectangular closed channel and hydraulic radius for rectangle suppose b is 5 this is b and y here depth is equals to the height of rectangle because it's full flowing so y is equals to suppose 3 then we will get the unit we will get the area by b into y equals to 15 and perimeter equals to full you will have to calculate two times of two times of b plus y then you will get 16 5 3 8 into 2 equals to 16 and you can find hydraulic radius by a is divided by p area by perimeter you will get 0 0.9375 and you can find hydraulic diameter by multiplying it four times multiply this hydraulic radius four times and you will get 3.75 this is the hydraulic diameter of the original section full flowing rectangular closed now draw a circle of diameter 3.75 that is hydraulic diameter so this is the circle drawn now find the area of the circle area of the circle equals to pi d square is divided for divided by 4 so d is hydraulic diameter and pi d is the perimeter d d is hydraulic diameter you will get this value now again find the a by p that is hydraulic radius of this section you will get the same value 0 0.9375 now hydraulic radius for subtracted section now if you subtract take the absolute value del a means this area minus this area area of rectangle minus area of circle and put this value here now find the difference of the perimeter of these two sections rectangle and circle you will get again one value that is del a and del b now again find hydraulic radius for del a and del b 
this way you will get same value so we see here that by hydraulic finding the hydraulic diameter we can convert this section into rectangular section into circular we can do this for any section whether it is closed or open channel furthermore the difference between these two also gives the same hydraulic radius same hydraulic radius means same velocity because we know velocity is equals to for open channel we will see that velocity is equals to 1 by n r to the power 2 by 3 plus to the power 1 by 2 so r making r constant n and s will be constant then we get the same b for open channel now this works for open as well as, well as closed channel we will quickly see this example you can do it yourself as well this is the rectangular open channel only difference would be p there you used total perimeter but here you will use only 2y plus b not you don't add b again so you will get one perimeter and find the hydraulic radius same way then hydraulic diameter from multiplying four times then draw a circle of that hydraulic diameter find the area of the circle perimeter of the circle and again find hydraulic radius you will get the same value 1.11 again find the difference between the area and perimeter and find hydraulic radius you will again get the same value similarly for trapezoidal section this is open channel you can do it for closed channel as well only difference would be in p for p you will have to add this value also but here for since it is open channel you will add only this much for the perimeter and find hydraulic radius then hydraulic diameter and draw a circle you will get the same value ehr 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 1.779 for the differentiated section as well for the this is semicircle not trapezoidal for semicircle hydraulic radius you can find here so radius is 2.5 then diameter would be 5 find the area of the semicircle and perimeter then again find hydraulic radius now hydraulic radius for converted circle you can see here as we said earlier that for this circular section you will get same value and you got here same value for semicircle or circle you will get r same because a would be exactly half and p would be exactly half so r would be same now you can find the differentiated for the principal section also you will get the hr same value so we saw these three open and closed channel you can do it yourself